1952, Harry Heilman and Paul Wayne are elected to Baseball Hall of Fame. 1953, New York, Cleveland and Boston retaliate against Bill Veeck, forcing the Cleveland Browns to play afternoon games to avoid sharing TV revenues. 1959, Joe Cronin signs seven-year pack to become head of American League. 1965, Pug Galvin elected to Baseball Hall of Fame. 1971, Jake Beckley, Joe Kelly, Harry Hooper, Rube Marquard, Chick Haffey and Dave Bancroft and George Weiss elected to Baseball Hall of Fame. 1971, U.S. Female Figure Skating Championship won by Janet Lynn. 1974, McDonald's founder Ray Kroc buys San Diego Padres for $12 million. 1977, Joe Sewell, Amos Russi, and L. Lopez elected to Baseball Hall of Fame. 1981, Gaten Buescher skates world record 1,000 meters in 1 minute 13 seconds and 39 milliseconds. 1982, U.S. Male Figure Skating Championship won by Scott Hamilton. 1988, Super Bowl 22, Washington Redskins beat Denver Broncos, 42-10 in San Diego, MVP, quarterback Doug Williams. 1990, Jushin, Thunder, Liger beats Naoki Sano to become New Japan IWGP champ. 1990, the first ever all-sports daily The National begins publishing. 1992, sportscaster Howard Cosell retires. 1993-81 Stone Australian Men's Tennis, Jim Courier beats Stefan Edberg 6-2, 6-1, 2-6, 7-5. 1993, in Pasadena, Caliph the NFL Super Bowl 27 is played. The Buffalo Bills become the first team to lose three consecutive Super Bowls as they are defeated by the Dallas Cowboys, 52-17. MVP, Troy Aikman, quarterback of Dallas. Michael Jackson performs at the halftime show. 1998, 72nd Australian women's tennis, Martina Hingis beats C. Martinez, 6-3, 6-3. 1999, NFL Super Bowl 33, Denver Broncos beat Atlanta Falcons, in Miami, Florida, MVP, John Elway, Denver, quarterback. 2010, Swiss Roger Federer beats Britain Andy Murray in three sets, 6-3, 6-4, 7-6, 13-11, at the Australian Open Tennis Championship to win his 16th Grand Slam title.